Welcome back to Upward Outlaws, guys. And in this video, we're actually back at our house, and we're on Twin Rivers Lake right now, or at least I should say in the Twin Rivers Lake area. And we've actually got our jet ski already on the trailer back there in the garage. And today, what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be loading it up, and we're going to be going on a road trip to a brand new area that I haven't been to before. So come along with me, and it's actually, uh, I think it's going to be a really interesting trip. I'm really excited to head out. So we've arrived in Waterville. Now, I have never been here before, but as the name suggests, it should be a really, really good area to bring your boats or jet skis out to. We've used the Tundra as the tow rig today, and our fully built jet ski is ready to go. Now all we gotta do is actually explore this place and see what it's all about. Now, I've never actually been here before. I This is my very first time ever, ever coming out here. So this is gonna be a really interesting journey for sure. Now, I can already tell you that if you had brought a rock crawler, you would already have some real interesting areas to go to, that's for sure. Now, I'm starting to see a little bit of a road system. It looks like there's a city up there. Let's go check that out and see what we can find. And also, keep in mind that any of these areas we visit, we may also be considering, you know, either getting another house out in an area like this, or at some point, even moving. So, we'll see what we can do in that front. Now, let's... Oh, wow. That's actually a really built-up city. Hopefully, the city isn't too tight and doesn't get us all tangled up with the trailer. But I am really interested to see what this city is all about. So, nice and easy. All right. Whoop. All right, let's go ahead and get stopped. And apparently, they have, uh, they have resorted to stacking trailers around here. That's an odd design choice. Let's go ahead and make a quick left... We'll head down this way, next to some of the buildings that kind of circle the city, and see what... Whoa! Dude, look at that! Look at the dockyard down there! That's... That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I haven't found, like, a boat ramp yet, but look at this little lookout point, too. We got a big ramp that goes up and over the, uh, up and over the bridge. That looks like a, like a pier, or maybe somewhere around there where we can actually launch our boat. Got some drainage right here. There's a lot going on out here, man. A lot going on out in Waterville, that's for sure. Now, let's see if we can get a little bit of a... Ooh, we got, like, double stop signs up there. I wonder if that means you're not supposed to go that way. I would venture a guess that that is what that means, but not quite sure what we got going on there. But let's see if we can... Oh, oh dude, we might have found a boat ramp. Oh my god, look at this place! Wow! Yo, I think we did find a- Whoa! Look out there! Holy crap! Okay, well, oh my god, I want to actually- And that looks like it might be blocked off. I want to go out there and see what's out there. This is a really exciting area, but it looks like- Oh, we got an island out there too? Alright, it looks like what's on the other side of the, of the, uh, the bridge might be even more interesting than what's on this side. So let's give it a look. Come on. Go, 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 go. It, it was struggling to pick up speed right there for a second. This bridge is gnarly too. We got a beach down here. We've got like a Ferris wheel going on. Oh my God. There's a boat ramp right there. There's a dock right there. That's a huge house. Yo, we might have to like Whoa, look at these houses. They're gorgeous. Yo, we might have to actually consider looking at houses out here sometime because this area is beautiful. All right, let's make our way down towards the beach here. Oh, this is so sick. This is so freaking sick, guys. Wow. Got the full-on loop out there. Oh, my God. I think that this is an actual, like, boat park. What? Whoa! Can we actually, like, do something in here? Oh, I don't think that... Oh, God. I don't think they want us to bring the trailer in here. Yeah, they definitely don't want us to bring the trailer in here, do they? Oof. Okay, well, let's see if we can find a secondary way to get in there. Because I really would like to get out to some of those features. But it seems as though the... Oh, God, the trailer is very upset now. Oh my god, even low and lockers, the trailer is now just mad at me. Trailer, come on! Come on! Oh my god. Alright, this is this is a bit of a problem, isn't it? This is a bit more of a problem than I anticipated it would be. 
Oh, now it's fully in there. Oh my god. All right, let's see if this little detach trick works. There we go. All right, now we don't have to have it in low with the freaking lockers on anymore. Hey, we can actually get onto the beach right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at this freaking scenery, dude. This is absolutely incredible. We got another island out there. Well, wait, is that an island? Ah, it's close enough. Yeah, it's it's island enough to be an island, right? I would say. God, that's such a cool design element, though. Although, I am curious as to why the water looks kind of weird. The water on this map is not the same as a lot of the, the water I've seen on other maps. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure why that is. I'm not actually sure at all why that is. But I would like to see what this area looks like in photo mode. Because I, dude, this area is going to look absolutely incredible. Let me go ahead and go back to my move stuff. And we're going to zoom out just a little bit. And wow. Wow, this is the, this is, this is the kind of stuff... This is the kind of, like, this is the kind of stuff that we are so, like, lucky now to have the freaking photo mode for. I mean, beach trips, dude. Freaking beach trips in Off-Road Outlaws. That is so incredible. That is so freaking incredible. And I cannot believe, frankly, that that's finally a thing. I can't believe that that's finally here. Like, oh my god. All right, we've spent enough time in photo mode. Let's go ahead and get this this uh, jet ski in the water. Now, I highly doubt that you're supposed to actually launch your boat here, but I'm almost starting to wonder if somehow the graphic settings got adjusted on me because this is not what the water is supposed to look like. Holy moly, this is not what the water is supposed to look like. I mean, it, it works the same, obviously, but oh my god. Look at all this. Dude, this stuff is incredible. Being able to see the city from the water out here, that that in itself is a huge, huge feature of this map. And a huge leap forward, frankly, for map design. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh, that's going to be a bad landing. Boom. Oh, well, okay. Well, barrel rolled out of it. I'll take it. That's fine. All right, so this area right here is, I believe, solely for doing tricks. Can we make the backflip? I don't think so. Yeah, I... Ooh, oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think that that's going to be the strongest case for doing a backflip. But let me see if we can put this half pipe to use. Not really. I mean, we made it back. But I feel like if we wanted to actually use it properly, we would need a lot more speed. Like a good chunk more. Let's see. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my dude's in trouble. Oh, my dude is in big trouble. Um, He's just kind of floating out to sea now. Completely upside down. Not sure why. All right. Thank you. It finally let me actually correct his position. But... Let me make my way back to the... Oh, there we go. Let me make my way back out here to the tricks area. Ooh! All right, so what? Whoa, you're actually supposed to come in on this end of the loop, make your way through the loop, keep your speed going, and finish with a jump. What? I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, but I'm going to try! Ooh! You know, I almost did it. And I'm actually really happy about the fact that I almost did it because I rarely get that close to actually landing these freaking loops in the jet skis. So, okay, now I'm stuck under the loop. That's not quite as easy to get out of. Yep, oh, I'm stuck in the loop. All right. So that's brilliant. Now, let's back you up one more time, spin you around, and give that one more try. Because I feel like if you don't get it on the next try, it's going to be one of those things that's going to take like 15 million tries to get right. All right, let's turn you around real quick. Oh, boy. Now, I do wonder if feathering the throttle will kind of help us here. But, like, man, those water graphics are freaking, like, they're, they're like 1998 flight simulator level. Oh, no! Oh, no. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say we made it, but I am going to say that I'm going to attempt the jump and pretend like I made it. 
Okay, you gotta not go too fast. You gotta not go too fast because it'll hit the beach, but you gotta also not go too slow because if you go too slow, well, bad things will happen there too. Oh, don't get beached. I think I got beached. Oh, I know I didn't get beached. Okay, I'm good. Oh my God. All right, I'm going back to my trailer now and I'm gonna attach it. And we're actually gonna go look at some of these houses because like I said before, this area is absolutely beautiful. And if I see a house out here that I really, really, really like, there might be a pretty good chance that I'll decide to come back here and maybe eventually, um, like, eventually grab a house of my own out in this area. Because that would be so cool. All right, so how do I get up into that neighborhood? Uh, probably this way? I'm gonna guess probably this way with a bit of an access road, unless this is somebody's driveway and I'm about to go on a private property, which would not be good. Let's see. Oh, we got some mud going on out here. They're actually working on some construction. No, I think this is actually like a mountain like community neighborhood. That's so sick. Oh my God, that is the coolest thing. A mountain neighborhood community? Looking over the water behind the city? What? Whoa. This is, th this area is just like repeatedly blowing my mind over and over and over and over again. We got a house and barn combo up there. Now down here, dude, this house is freaking huge. Absolutely freaking huge. I don't know what it looks like from the front, but I'm guessing that it looks pretty epic. Oh man, look at that. And look at the view that comes along with it too. I mean, well, the tops of some trees, but that's okay. Uh, we could potentially get rid of those trees in the future or maybe just find another house. But either way, the houses in this area and the houses in this neighborhood are absolutely just off the charts incredible. And if you guys have not visited this area yet, oh my god, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do so because I guarantee that you'll be able to find a house that you really like and you'll be super close to the beach and be able to like launch your boats and jet skis right off of either the boat ramps or the docks or the beach which is right there and you can have beach parties with your buddies and their like and their trucks and boats and jet skis so I feel like it's kind of a win-win for everybody but if you guys enjoyed following along and coming out here on this exploration, then let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Let me know if you guys think I should get another house out here or maybe move out here. And if you're new to the channel and you would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.